Hello, this is David with the short version of how to register using the Co-op Wallet in Co-op 5050. So as you can see, the first thing that you need to do is you need to get to the, to the Co-op 5050 page and include the donor key of the person that invited you. Once there, click Join Us. When you click Join Us, it takes you to the next page, automatically uh, populates the donor key. There you put your name, your email, password, and you choose the, you have to click the licensing fee, and you choose the level or levels of your choice. In this particular case, the 25, 50, 150, and 250 were chosen. Click Join. That takes you to the next page. On the next page, you simply confirm all of the information there. You click and you confirm and proceed by clicking the confirm and proceed. After that, it takes you to the next page and on that next page, this is where you have several different choices. In this particular case, we're going to use the co-op wallet because that one is your best choice. It also sends and receives all your donations. So click co-op wallet. Once you do that, it takes you to the next page. This creates an invoice for you. On this page, you can choose over 100 different cryptocurrencies. In this particular case, we have chosen Bitcoin. And by choosing Bitcoin, it puts the address across the top there. In this particular case, it's 0 0.24311. And it gives you an address for where you're sending the funds. On the left hand side, it gives you a detail of what all of the, the things that you're purchasing are. You've got the software fee there. You've got the total of the donations that are being sent. You've got the safety surplus. The safety surplus is to protect you in case that invoice fluctuates or that cryptocurrency fluctuates. Whatever's left over will end up in your wallet and for the most cases it is pretty much the exact same amount. We also have a processing fee of 1.5 percent. That is the wallet processing fee so that we can send and receive your donations and set up that wallet for you. There is also the network exchange fee. That fee is not charged by co-op. That is the fee that's charged by, say, Coinbase or blockchain or, or your Cash App wallet or any of the other thousands of different wallets that you can use to make that cryptocurrency exchange. You can also see that it says awaiting deposit. Once you've uh, uh, determined that, yes, this is everything is correct, you open up your phone, uh, and you can simply point your phone once you're into your blockchain or your Coinbase or whatever it is. You can simply point your phone at that QR code and instantaneously that transaction will happen. Conversely, if you're using the, the same device, you can copy that amount put it into the amount to send in your cryptocurrency uh, exchange wallet, be it blockchain or, or, or Coinbase, then you copy the address, you put the address in there from, of where you're sending it to, and you click send. It'll take a few moments, that awaiting deposit will change to confirmations, going to one, two, three, etc., until that transaction is complete. Once the transaction is complete, it'll say transaction completed. At that point, you can log into your dashboard. And on this particular screen, which, not, which is not uh, a, a representation of that transaction, this is just another wallet showing you what happens. It automatically sends your donations to the party that is going to receive them and it automatically marks them received. And you'll have a history of that when you go to My Money, My Wallet Transactions. It is simple, it's easy, and it is fast. Co-op 5050 is your answer to an unlimited amount of donations flowing into your wallet. And using the Co-op Wallet makes it easy. This is David. I hope that you find this helpful. Let's get busy with it.